Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome back to Acoustic Music and Things. I'm really hoping I've got a good, uh, good video for you guys today. Um, I've picked up this Custom Shop Historic 1936 Advanced Jumbo. Um, I never remember exactly what to call this guitar because the name is so long to get the right one. Is it an Advanced Jumbo? Yes, but which one? They made some between 1989 and I think 2002. Then they picked it up again in 2008. They made them, I think, until 2012. No, nope, 2018. Anyway, this is the newest of the historic line. And it's got the really thin nitro finish, just really beautiful. It's got an aged, a thermally aged red spruce top. Um, the only negative I see on this guitar, and this is just personal for me, is the neck carve on it is what they're calling the historic advanced jumbo carve. And that just means it is pretty thick this way. Hopefully you can see that. Um, you know, it just takes a few minutes to get used to, um, even having hands on the smaller side. It takes a minute. Uh, I definitely prefer the slim taper necks, like on my Southern Jumbo and another couple of guitars. That being said, everything else is very typical of Gibson, the 1.725 nut width for the advanced jumbo and their long scale guitars. It is the 25 and a half inch scale length. I mean, honestly, it's a great guitar. Is it five and a half thousand dollars good? That's up to the player, I suppose. Um, Sure sounds amazing, though. Um, another thing to note with these historic line guitars is they do not come with pickups. They do not come with strap buttons. I know some of the purists say, oh, leave it as is. Just play with a microphone. You know, wrap a shoestring around here if you need a, a strap. But, you know, not only do I sit here and play and you know, make some of these videos for you guys, but I also like to plug in and play out. So for me, pickups are very helpful because despite what some people may think, you cannot put a pencil mic on an acoustic guitar on a stage with a drum set and have it sound good. That being said, sounding good, I've also upgraded my recording set up a little bit for you guys. Um, I'm still running through the Universal Audio Volt into the Q8N 4K camera, but now I have the VR2 active ribbon mic over here, kind of pointed at the bridge, but now I've got a KM184 pointed right about the 12th fret body joint area. So Hopefully, with all of this setup, the whole goal is to bring you guys the most truest sound of the guitar. So, hopefully you're getting that. That being said, I'm going to play a little sound sample of this guitar. And then I'll bring in another guitar to AB. And then afterwards, I'll explain what that guitar is.
I hope you figured it out by now that this is a custom shop advanced jumbo with a flame maple back and sides. This was part of the 2015 65 guitar run with an Adirondack top, flame maple back and sides, and everything else standard Gibson and standard advanced jumbo. So I thought this would be a really great comparison between the two, you know, thermally cured Adirondack top versus a fairly played in new Adirondack top. So going back, listening through I'm really surprised at how warm the maple really is. Going back to, and I've said it, I think in my Guild video, or maybe my J185 video, that how everybody thinks that maple is such a bright wood, it's a tone wood, it's just really a non-colorful wood, meaning the wood itself doesn't really color the tone of the guitar as much as just give it a lot of transparency. It's really about the top, it's really about the strings, and really it focuses on the player, like how does the player play? So in that aspect, Maple can be a little scary because it really showcases your particular playing style. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little comparison. Um, I've got another couple of videos lined up. Um, what I'm really excited about is showing you guys this this guy right here. Let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. Can you identify that? You know what that is? Let me know. Look forward to it. Thanks again.